Hey YouTube, JW. Got an interesting knife here I want to show you. It's an automatic knife. There really isn't any name on this knife per se. It's kind of a no name. Um, kind of an interesting design. It's really just, I think, more of just kind of like an automatic utility knife. Um, I've seen these on sharper deals for quite a few years. And I bid on a red one a while back and lost at about 60 to 70 dollars maybe and you know it's not a high quality knife um, but it is unusual and I like unusual knives um, this blocks the lever from being pushed down you know it's got the clad it's got a bail on it I think this is 1980s maybe um, the reason why I think it might be newer than that is because it is from Taiwan. This one's in pretty good shape. Push that down and you close it. The back bar here kind of sticks out a little bit when it's closed, but um, it works the way it should and it fires really nice. It's in real good shape. So I actually got this one in a lot, and I got a real good price on it. I was really happy to finally get one. Uh, you're looking at seven inches overall. So the design and the bail and that makes me think that it's at least as old as the 1980s. But with it being Taiwan, which came on the scene you know for instance for example take Sarko knives um, or Edgeco two importers in the 1980s as it moved into the 1990s they switched over from um, Japan or Korea and moved to Taiwan that was the, the last step before it went to China so, Korea didn't do as much, but they were in there as Japan. So it was basically Japan, Taiwan, China. And the quality went down the toilet as it moved uh, to the different countries, cheaper and cheaper, and we're still with China, obviously, to this day. So it has good walk and talk. And I've been wanting to get this example as you know, I like to feature in my Retro Knife series um, as many different knife designs and unique things, especially as what I can to show people, you know, kind of the different, different, sh different shit. You know, that's what I like. So, yeah, I really don't know what you would call it. I call it a switchblade utility knife. And honestly, I think that's that's what this is. It was a cheap, kind of classic looking. I mean, you know, if you if you see the way this handle looks with the knurling on there like that, it reminds you, especially with the bail, of like what you would see on some stiletto switchblades. So we'll call this a 1980s, mid to late 80s probably made in Taiwan utility switchblade lever has a lever but it's a button and then it has the slide lock real good spring as you can see it fires very nice it has a thin utility clip point blade I mean and it's not the best but this was a very inexpensive inexpensive knife when it was when you would buy it new I'm sure I mean you're probably only looking at maybe a twenty dollar knife whereas now I would say it's probably a fifty dollar it probably wasn't even that much I'd say now they're worth solid fifty bucks at least and not easy to find that's the thing about it it's the thing about all those cheap knives they were plentiful, everybody had them, and now 
everybody wants them and you can't find them and cheap knives are valuable so you know I think about that sometimes today sometimes I buy cheap knives from today I don't think it's going to be quite the same as it was like now we're in a peak market for this kind of stuff now because people like me who were young in the 1980s and grew up in the you know the 80s and into the 90s um, couldn't get this wanted it you know for whatever reason and now we're old enough to get it so that we're kind of you know I'm I'm 35 years old so people in that age group um, are just really looking for this kind of stuff right now so I don't know if that'll be the same quite as much down you know 20 years from now with kids with knives today maybe it will but I buy some cheap knives that I like and I just put them away because maybe 20 years from now somebody will be looking for it so something to think about so I want to thank you guys for watching I'll put a link to my Facebook and my Instagram below and I appreciate you guys for sticking around on my channel give me a thumbs up and the whole deal so I'll catch you guys on the next one